all right i wet my whistle there a little bit my whiffle <whistles> my whiffle there a little bit let's see if penny comes in <clears throat> what is up everybody charlie checking in coming at you early today guys thought i was going to come on here at live at six this evening <clears throat> to celebrate my 17 months i had to think about it for a second 17 months of sobriety but i figured i'd go live early, a little bit earlier so that i can get off a little early <laughs> and uh make dinner i've got some hamburger meat thawing out and uh and yeah me and eric's gonna have a little bit of hamburger or not hamburger a little bit of spaghetti tonight uh after live stream let me so let me go ahead um la i'm live early hold on i'm let me get it right i'm still working i'm still trying to figure out this phone i'm oh man what in the dildo what oh, okay 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 hold on i'm gonna lose it all right <laughs> holy hell oh man dude i don't know i'm still trying to get used to this fucking damn this samsung right here oh my god three for for oh my god oh my god damn god guys <laughs> oh my god i'm trying to fucking share this damn link right here i'm live early Go ahead and clear it all back out. One, two, three, right? I'm going to lose it. What in the absolute dick? There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Guys, I just tried to share my link on to Twitter uh, uh, and just tried to post. I'm live early. I'm live early. And it's not happening. I want to do it all capital letters. I'm. <laughs> oh my god i've got I, oh my god what is up everybody this is the awkwardest shit right here holy crap i cannot believe this this is uh uh definitely uh an exercise in futility right now i'm definitely trying to keep my cool here at the moment I'm trying to share a link on the net uh, uh, onto twitter and facebook and i want to share it all capital uh, caps like this look have a look i'm live early and some exclamation points look oh there we go it's we're, we're getting there guys holy mackerel paste the link Whew. i did it dude that took too long follow me at the angry sign son of agp right here guys uh 400 i'm following 400 1300 followers thank you all so very much and hey check it out look there's uh erica right there oh look how beautiful that is <clears throat> follow erica as well here let's share erica's link out erica roland at edr girly too i'm not sure who edr girly one is <laughs> but i'm sure she's not as beautiful as edr girly too but give her a follow she's actually at 2969 followers and uh and yeah that'd be nice to see her get uh hit hit that 3000 mark here soon okay so anyways I shared that link on uh, face or Twitter. Now let me share it on Facebook. I'm live early. Paste. 
paste. And boom, public, everyone can see. All right, good. Oh, my hell success. What is up? Thank you all for, for uh, sitting through that ordeal with me for a moment. <laughs> and I did it. Success with a smile. So anyways, man, thank you all for watching. Uh, uh, 17 months sober, bro. This is 17. I've been, I've been trying to keep my cool and do it right. 17 months. <laughs> I think I've been doing pretty well, man. Keeping the streak going, man. Thank you for joining. Marie, much love to you. Kyle Lopez, Lucy Weber in the house. Bravo, uh, 1883. Jackie Figaro, 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 uh, Roa. Sorry. <laughs> Gunner York, BR Breast Archives. What is up, my friend? <clears throat> I think I got Bob's memes unblocked. I looked, uh, looked through the list and I saw Bob's memes like take care of that yeah so yeah uh you're back man cryptic angel much love to you marie debbie cotton what's up debbie lorraine davidson what is up lorraine west warren what's up tj hey hey what's up brother callie heather stewart i love sub chris loring matthew johnson jackie figura keeping it redneck what's up brother kids inside grandpa's nuts egg filled with tina zombie yeah what's up with you right there good one Linda Prayer uh, Pendered, Kid July, Big Roy 38, uh, Bravo 1883, Debbie Cotton, Chris McKinney, Jackie uh, Figaro, oh, it's, it's Junior. Jackie is Junior. What's up, Junior, man? We love you, brother. Rebecca Spratling, much love to you right there, girl. Thank you for joining and turning the wrenches. We might need it a little bit tonight, man. Tonight is a celebration, bro. We're kind of we're kind of getting down uh, 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 in honor of my sobriety, 17 months, you know, on track and just moving upward, onward and just fucking blowing my competition completely out the water, man. And uh, and yeah, you know, we've actually got a little bit of a entertainment for us, you know, in the process of a very public breakup between uh, uh, Nikki and Isaac Guest. They are. Uh, She's not so much going at it, but he, Isaac, seems fucking, oh, my God. He seems he seems very bothered, and uh, he's not pulling any punches right now, bro. <laughs> Let me show you guys right here. Take a look. This is somebody that he's claimed that, he, that he's messing with right now. Look. Have a look. He posted it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to have a play date with this person. That I I, I, I I guess I've seen that it is real, but either way, it's kind of like a, almost like an admittance of like adultery. Like, bro, you are getting divorced. <laughs> you are going through an act of divorce right now. Do you really want to be sharing out pictures of uh, uh, of women with play dates? Women with very large, unattractive cleavage. <laughs> Yo, shit. And, uh, and yeah, this whole shit, dude, he is totally got like, he, he, he halfway doxed her here. Like, I guess she's got herself a new address. He's halfway doxed it. We got so much we're going to share though. We're going to get into, uh, I don't know if y'all have seen, uh, Michael's new thumbnail right here. This is pretty weird. Oh my God. Have a look right here. Bridget slept with Andy Milanakis and Michael doesn't know how he feels about it. And I guess Bridget doesn't really know how she feels about it neither. What do y'all feel about this right here? Any thoughts on this, guys? This is kind of fucking gross right here, dude. <laughs> it appears that Bridget and her girlfriend got caught doing the nasty. Huh. I don't know what to think. And Michael, Michael says that it's heartbreaking, but uh, according to Michael on... Uh, you know, I at least on Isaac's Twitter, you know what I mean? He's had sex with other women and Bridget at the same time and shit. So, I mean, why don't what, what's wrong? Why don't you just jump in, man? Like what what's the what's the what's the wrong just taking a little step on in? I don't know if you want to get involved with that, bro. That doesn't look so much like a, a, a good time right there as it does uh perhaps the three little pigs. <laughs> Can you imagine Michael in the middle of that love sandwich right there? That is one rotund triangle. Oh my God, dude. And look, and 
And I didn't realize it, but if you actually take a look right here, guys, have a stare. Have a stare or two for a minute, man. Look, she is just as big as Bridget. You see that? Like, look at them. Man, no offense. She looks dirty. Look at that, dude. She looks fucking dirty. Ugh! Look, how dirty, dude. I mean, just, she looks like she hasn't bathed. Looks like he literally picked up some homeless chick up off the streets. <laughs> and was like, hey, you want to be in a video? I'll feed you. I'll make a mean grilled cheese. Oh my God, guys. So, dude, all that shit is still going on. <laughs> who would have thought, honestly, man, who would have thought how many years ago? 2017, July 2017. <clears throat> who would have thought Tom Tom says that's fake, fake, fake. I agree. It's all fake. But the thing is, it's fake, but it's not very entertaining. Like, I'm not going to click to watch that shit. Honestly, like, if it was a good-looking woman, like, you know, if they hired, like, a model, per se, or something like that, you know, to kind of, to kind of, kind of twist that damn shit, that, 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 the storyline up on its ear a little bit, you know, to, to give people more reason to want to watch. Like, damn, there's actually a, a freaking, a dime up in the house that, you know, is making up a bridge. Maybe I might want to watch this. I might want to look real quick. Just to see, like, exactly what the fuck's going on, you know, but, like, Dude, I haven't even been bothered to damn press the, the play button on any of their videos, man. I Straight to the comment section. You know, that's more entertaining than what Michael's had going on for a long time. Jersey Devil, much love to you. Thank you so much for that $5 bill right there. I won't spend it on beer. Promise you that, man. It says, congratulations on 17 months sober, brother. It's a daily struggle, but you're doing awesome. You know what, man? It kind of is a daily struggle. You know, I sit there and I, and like I've, I've talked about like how I don't have that urge and stuff, you know. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like you know there are days when I do have that urge, and you know even the days when I don't have that urge, I still have that urge. I just don't realize it. You know what I mean? It's there, but um, you know, it, I don't know. It gets easier each day. You know, I do know that. So anybody that's out there struggling, you know what I mean, with a uh, 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 substance abuse addiction you know you know time you know you know helps it all you know the first couple of weeks especially when you're on hard drugs you know the first couple of weeks is, is so hard because you're like so physically addicted to it you know what i mean like your body gets sick you almost kind of need it you know thankfully i was never the type that had to go to uh through detox you know, in, in order to uh, uh, to kick the habit, you know, even when I went to Meridian down in uh, Fort Lauderdale, y'all remember that back in July 2017, uh, you know, I was going to rehab after all that shit went down and like originally I was going to go to rehab before I ever moved into dad's house. Like if you guys remember um, right around uh, what was it? Uh, Veterans Day, I believe it was of like 2015, I think. Um, um, and I don't think it was 2014. I think it was 2015, but I had actually, uh, called up everybody, my aunts and my uncles. And I was like, look, you know, like I'm having no luck here. I was living with my uncle Bobby, you know, sleeping in his spare bedroom, you know, making no moves, you know, just walking to the temp service every day, you know, for bullshit, you know, half the time I wasn't even getting any work, you know walking back empty handed. And so I walk, so I, I, I let everybody know that, you know, I'd made up my mind. I'm going to rehab and shit, you know? And, um, uh, uh, Oh, excuse me. Huh? East Soto says, look at Rachel with the wrench. Hell yeah. Much love. Had to hook my friend up. She's actually, you know, from the Ville, from that area, you know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> you know, I love it whenever she gives, whenever she gives Isaac hell, whenever she gives pig popper, Hell, you know, like, uh, 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 you know, it really tickles me. Her, Kimmy K, uh, Erica. Apparently, Nikki has been Isaac his ass here uh, today, too, because he's decided to make so much shit so public with, you know, with uh, uh, on Twitter and on Facebook, you know, that we're going to share here, here in a few. I didn't want to just jump right into it. 
but um but yeah you know like uh <laughs> like shit you cannot take back uh shout out to stop lying charlie you were drunk on thanksgiving what did it what does he have to say what does drunk charlie from thanksgiving i've been haunted by my past once before what is <laughs> what does this drunk charlie have to say <laughs> oh my goodness yeah that's pretty cool um i don't feel like i was drunk you know what i'm saying but uh maybe i was you know that's the thing about me and drinking i get so fucking i get so hammered you know what i mean that i you know i don't realize what kind of asshole i was being was i was i acting like an ass on thanksgiving was i acting like a drunk asshole on thanksgiving if so i i apologize you know <laughs> i thought i was keeping it together i felt like i was sober <laughs> uh, shout, shout out to secure team uh people are dumb charlie don't listen to them everyone can tell you are sober yeah of course guys that was that's just a joke like i say you know like we can lie to ourselves with our addictions and shit like that but it's the world around you you know what i mean that that knows honestly you know like you think you're fooling everybody you know, and there, you know, I was I was going through that shit, telling everybody, you know, like, well, not really. Not really. Like whenever I was damn drinking really heavy and shit, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have any accountability whatsoever. Before I moved in with dad, you know, when I was living in my Uncle Bobby's house, it went after I'd lost everything in Columbia, because I was living by myself in Columbia. You know, I was doing my own thing, holding the job down for years, you know. And I was, uh, you know, I thought I was a functioning alcoholic, you know what I mean? But really, I was just, I had started up here with, with such opportunity, and it just slowly diminished over the years until finally, you know, I was, you know, left flat out on my ass. My own fault, you know? And uh, and I still kept drinking. You know, even when I was living with my Uncle Bobby, you know, and I didn't have a job, and I was damn pawning off all my DVDs and shit. And I started pawning off my Uncle Bobby's DVDs and shit. Now, I, I have I have passed uh, I have since went to my uncle Bobby and and you know confessed and you know asked for forgiveness because I felt so bad about stealing from his ass. Erica was with me whenever I did it too, and um, yeah, that's what alcohol was doing. I was down. I had nothing. I was at the pits. I was at the bottom. You know, but I was still acting like I you know. I had it all under control. I had it all figured out, even though, you know, I'd go to sleep at night worried as fuck, even when I was drinking, you know, the world around you sees that shit, you know, and, uh, and yeah, you all see it all, you know what I mean? So like, I don't feel like I have to, uh, uh, prove anything to anybody, you know, because, you know, in doing it, you know, in living sober, you know is proof enough you know those that those that always come out there and say no -uh, i ain't been drinking or no -uh, i ain't been using you know or hey look at me living you know i mean yes you, you can tell you can really tell especially when you know this person especially like how y'all know me you know what i mean y'all have seen me drunk live stream acting an ass so many times you know but you can tell can tell <laughs> so and I, and I so i love the fact that you know that my actions speak louder than my words quite frankly you know there was a time where y'all y'all saw me i was i was bouncing around from place to place from from town to town city to city state to state greyhound by greyhound you know and I and I was preaching. I was I was talking a big game, and I was I was talking about how you know get it right, you know live right, you know reading my Bruce Lee book, you know and damn uh, 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 preaching my fucking my little well I'm not gonna sit here and give any 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 air quotes, but you know talking you know the recovery talk and get and dropping those hot words, <laughs> you know and. Uh, but I, was, I, you know, I wasn't exactly putting in the real work, you know, and I kept falling and you guys saw it. And I go back, man, and I see some of them videos from the past, you know, whenever I feel, whenever I act like, you know, I've got it all together and shit, you know, and then I'm fooling people and shit, you know, 
And man, I literally almost want to cry, dude. Like, I swear to God, man, like, I'll literally, you know, I feel like a damn, like a, a stab, you know, tan man, what's happening, brother? Much love to your uh, kitty. I think you took a picture of your kitty, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, you know, but yeah, just how, just how, I don't know. I'm still at, I'm still at uh, odds with how I, not at odds, but I still don't understand how I feel about how, you know, who I was three and four years ago, you know, and the opportunities that I had squandered, you know, and, 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 and like, you know, just how clueless I was, even though back then I felt like I was the best that I've ever been, you know, and today I feel like I'm the best that I've ever been, but you know how that is, you know, another month or two down the road, you're going to, I'm going to look back and I'm going to be like, damn, I was clueless as hell two months ago. And today I'm the best I've ever been. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, we're ever changing and shit, you know what I'm saying? But I know that I'll always, you know, be, uh, you know, regretful of the, of the, you know, the years that I spent in a fog, you know what I mean? And, and really lying to myself rather than, you know, uh, 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 I don't know, exploring the world myself, you know, just living right, dealing with my emotions and shit rather than trying to suppress them with drugs and alcohol, you know what I mean? Tyler Sutton says, uh, Sullivan says, since you moved on from your past, why not just leave Michael and everyone else on that side in the dust? Just ignore them and block them from everything. Well, because, you know, I haven't moved on from the past. Like I've I've moved on from my my alcoholic and drug addled past, you know, but there are still anchors and moorings like they're my family. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's my that's my blood. You know what I mean? For one and for two. You know what I mean? I've been betrayed, you know, in the in the ultimate way by those that I that I love the most. Like, there's no way that you just leave that in the past. You know what I mean? I, I I'm stuck right now in a war, and like I've I've, I've, I've admitted this numerous times. I am obsessed. <laughs> you know what I mean? In this war, you know what I mean? Which isn't even really a war anymore on them. It's more like a uh, uh, you know, it's a war that I wage against them. It's a personal war. It's like a vendetta that I, that I still hold against <laughs> Michael and Isaac. And every time that they read that they that they try to, uh, you know, tear me down. You know, we talk about Michael. You know, we talk about family. We talk about people with a large, inf you know, influence and a large reach. You know, and and, and uh, you know, whenever they tell people that, you know, that, oh, you know, Charlie's drinking, Charlie's a piece of shit, you know, there's, you know, there's a good chunk, there's a good number that believe they're bullshit, you know? <clears throat> so, like, it's almost like this is a war that I'll, you know, I'll, I'll wage forever, quite frankly, you know? <laughs> until I until I get the satisfaction that I feel, you know, I need, you know, and you know how satisfaction goes, you know, can't get none. <laughs> you know, we all crave materials and, and and possessions, you know, and then once we obtain that treasure, that gift, you know, then we're looking for the next thing, you know, then we're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's like, oh, yeah, that's Samsung. Yeah, it's cool. Eh, the Zoom is not as great as I thought it would be. It's all right. Cool. You know, having it. I don't know, man. It's, 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 there are, there are layers, bro. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, would you literally, would you be able to walk away from this? Would you be able to walk away if you were me in my shoes? And there were still people out there that were calling you pedophile. You know, saying that you, you, know, you that you sexually abused your sisters because your sisters said you did. I mean, that's a very hard pill to swallow, my friend. You know, and I'm and I'm stuck on this mission of showing you all that I am nothing like they painted me out to be. You know, 
that these fuckers lied, you know, that I, you know, that I, I demand, you know, retribution, it feels like, you know. Cornbread Jr., <laughs> much love to you, says they only do that because they hate to see you improve. Well, yeah, you know, like I said, I was doing so great back in April. Tobias Boone, backwards, much love. Thank you so much, uh, to, uh, Noob Cybot. Much love to Noob Cybot. It has this good job, Charlie. Been watching for years. Just remember, if you cringe at things you have done in the past, it means that you have grown as a person. Yeah, I totally agree, man. Like, and I, you know, I, I read, I didn't, I didn't realize that until I read it in a meme. I saw a meme with like a freaking wolf on it or something. It was perfect for me, man. And uh, and it said, yeah, just that it says if you cringe. As something you did in the past, you know, it only means that you, you know, you've grown from it. And I did, I do that a lot. I'll think about shit from the past, man. I'll just be like, ah, ah. I tell you, sometimes I feel awkward and I'll just, I think I did, I think it's some bullshit that happened in fourth grade and I'll just be like, and then I feel awkward about that. I'm like, all right, stop. <laughs> you know, because if I allow myself to feel awkward, I will feel awkward. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, what's that? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but Cornbread Jr., yes, yeah, says they only do that because they hate to see you improve, you know what I mean? Case in point was back in April, guys, you know, whenever I, uh, whenever me and Erica got an Airbnb on Edisto Island, you know, that we that I brought JC over, let him move in with us in the spare bedroom that we were able to put, uh, to, uh, to accommodate him with, you know? And hopes that he was going to get his life together, you know. We got ourselves an Airbnb and we took grandma, you know, on vacation. Took JC and Johnny out. Let them play football to eat with each other on the beach. You know, and showed everybody that, you know, that I'm really trying. That I'm really doing this shit, you know. And then me and Jennifer get into it. All because Jennifer is trying to uh, make JC guilty, feel guilty into staying trying to guilt the poor boy and to stay in back air with her so, so that she can go out and hang out with this fucking married dude. You know, it was so fucking bizarre, dude. And then because of that, what happened? Michael goes out and makes a fucking video of Johnny accusing me of giving him drugs. And I'm like, what in the fuck? Like, here you are again playing the same fucking games that you've always played. You know, except this time it didn't work out in his favor, did it? You all saw that video. It didn't necessarily work out in Michael's favor, did it? Looks like my lights are blinking, doesn't it? That kind of... I think that's just the... The webcam. So, uh, John Hagee, what is up, John? Much love to you, Green Mask. Hopefully, you're doing all uh, all right over there across the across the way. It says Big Mac won't be getting any sauce on his burger. <laughs> uh, not for not for Christmas, bro. I don't think anybody is going to be donating to Guestmas uh, uh, anymore uh, since uh, uh, Pig Popper was uh was caught red handed was caught with his hand in the fucking cookie jar stealing from a uh, from a homeless girl you know that he would then turn around and blame on he would then turn around and attack <laughs> he, he tried to help out a homeless girl then stole from her and then attacked her when he got caught taking the donations <laughs> oh my god can't make this shit up and uh and yeah nobody everybody everybody learned their lesson you know and i uh, don't think that he's going to be getting the donations that he that he deserves this year quite frankly um and we still don't know exactly what's happening with this whole uh eviction yet guys he was supposed to go to court yesterday uh, uh for his eviction you know they were gonna say that the final ruling which he claims now is getting kicked up another notch, going upstairs. Um, but Isaac missed that court date because he's taking his ex to uh, he's taking uh, Nikki to to court for uh, sole custody. Let's show here. 
Let me see here. I'm not going to check it out. Isaac claims that he has sole custody of the children, right? But if you look right here, look at this. This is Isaac sharing all his fucking, his paperwork online. If I was Nikki, I'd take screenshots of all this shit, save it all, and then take it to court. Be like, look, this is what this fucker is doing. But take a look here. Plaintiff seeks. Yeah, Dark Dark Lord says he missed court to fill out some forms. Yeah, because he wants to be a quote unquote good dad. A good dad's going to go get a job to take care of his kids. A good dad is going to pay the fucking rent to keep a roof over his children's heads. A good dad is going to earn a paycheck uh, honorably, legitimately, to put food on the table. Not relying on food stamps from the children. And apparently now he wants, he he's going to, he's filing for sole custody and he wants child support from Nikki. Who has found herself, a recently found herself a job. Guys got to give her uh, 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 respect on that, I guess. John Hagee says he looks like a 14-year-old kid, kid on Twitter trying to make his crush jealous. Totally, guys. Like, he's totally acting like a fucking, a 14-year-old kid. And not only that, though, like, he, like, he, he's. He's 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 playing a kid's game. Well, he's playing a, a a grown up game like a kid is what he's doing. These are grown up responsibilities. Not not grown up response. These are grown up repercussions that are that they've got to face. His family, her family. He's posting all this shit on Facebook and Twitter, uh, disparaging her. He can't do it in a court of law. Well, I guess he maybe he kind of can. He has a she has a bad history, but that's not going to damn her from keeping the kids, especially whenever the police themselves have already testified in a court of law that Isaac has a, a has a history of obtaining PFAs on her, but not kicking out of her her out of the house, but have but obtaining the PFAs in order to have a form of control over her. And all the harassment, all this shit that you see happening on Twitter that he's that he's doing to her on Twitter right now, all the abuse, mentally and verbally that he's that he's flinging, man, uh, it was ten. I bet you it was a thousand times worse behind closed doors. He's only given us a small taste, a small peek of what the hell he's been putting this woman for, through for for the last ten years. And if I was this other woman that he's parading around simply to make his wife angry, if I was her, you know, I, I would run for the fucking hills. Corey, what's up? Much love to your brother, man. Says, uh, yep, that he's acting like a child. I love how Nicole called him fat and ugly. <laughs> and she called him a child. I have to check out some of her tweets. Y'all send me that on on uh, uh my my Twitter because she's got her shit on private but apparently she's been busting his ass calling him a little boy and shit and it's wonderful. Pennywise the dancing clown says I'm telling you that girl is fake. Well until I see her on like you know I see a video of her you know talking about how much she loves Isaac Smegma and how she's the new queen of slob mob etc you know I'm not necessarily going to believe it neither. I personally believe that <laughs> I personally believe that Pig Popper went on Instagram or some shit and uh, actually made this, you know, uh, uh, may, probably made the account itself. Probably made the account himself because look, he's sharing. Look at this. For some, somehow he's got pictures of of Nikki. Sending messages to this sweet, was it sweet brown sugar 19? Let's go to sweet brown sugar 19 on Instagram, shall we? 297 people watching. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, what would I say? What did I say? Sweet brown sugar. Sweet 19. 19? Dude, what the fuck? All right, so the the account is private, so we can't tell what how when this account was made, but it has two hundred and eighty posts, two thousand six hundred ninety followers, 
2,646 following. So they're pretty much, it's pretty much almost a follow for follow type thing, it seems like. Um, I would like to follow and find out, but if this is actually fucking uh, Isaac's account or something, we're going to send a request. <laughs> we're going to send a request and see what happens. Follow this account to see their photos and videos. All right, so I sent the follow request. Let's see if we get a uh, a response <coughs> back on that. Shout out to Flychick316. Oh, never mind. I can't share that. I don't want to share that. No. Shout out to my dude, Wicked Vicky. Much love to you, Wicked Vicky. If you're uh, if you're watching, you're probably not. You done moved on. I understand. Wicked Vicky sent me a damn. It's a dude, and he sent me sent me an Erica uh, or he sent me a tie dye shirt. Um, what else did he send? He sent a couple other things, and the bot the, the box smelled so good. Like I'm like, dude, I imagine your house smells wonderful. <laughs> As a dude. But anyway, so like like either the chick is is, is fake. And he made a damn screen. He made fake screens, uh, screens, uh, uh, a fake account, all that shit. Uh, or, you know, just to make her jealous. Or he is talking to somebody. He has been talking to somebody, claiming that he's having a play date. To show you all the person that he's talking about. Or, yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about here. We did. He says, looking forward to the play date. Oh, gross. Looking forward to the play date. Meet Ari, everyone, a friend of mine. She was the one modded in last night's stream. A lot of you wonder what she looked like since she got, since in the screenshot, her pick was small. Here you go. So I can't take a screenshot due to security policy for some reason. I think that's because I'm, I'm cruising incognito, but have a look. You all send Miss Sweet Brown Sugar 19 a screenshot or a, 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 a follow request as well. Let's find out if she really is real and find out if she knows exactly what's all is happening uh, with Isaac and Nikki. Let's uh, wonder if she knows that she's being used. I wonder if she, if she knows that Isaac, that is Isaac is her boyfriend. <laughs> Isaac may just be following this account, talking shit, sending little bullshit or whatever. And then just coming back to the calls like, this is my girlfriend. Like she could be a real person. This is my girlfriend. Dude, that would be hilarious if that was the case. If it's not the case, and Isaac actually has a relationship going on with this woman, you know, then it would appear that he's had a relationship going on with her for a while, even while Nikki was still in the house. You don't just meet somebody, hey, what up? Want to come fuck? You know, you know, just a day after your ex moves out, or your girl, you, you, forcibly remove your wife. Well, I'm not, well, I'm not, I don't know why I'm doing that. You forcibly remove your wife from the house and then get mad that she doesn't come back. So the next thing you know, you've got a play date with another woman. Amber weekly said he's so proud of it too. Yeah. He's so proud of adultery. Like this could be ground. Could this not be like possibly grounds for Nikki to take to a, to a lawyer and say, Hey, here you go. Here you go. Here, here's my husband right here admitting it. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a private eye, a private investigator to follow around. Of course, all they're going to find is Nikki, or all they're going to find is Isaac, you know, hot, uh, parked in random Burger King and McDonald's parking lots, shoving his fat face and crying. <laughs> Fuck Charlie, chill. You know what I mean? If it is a real relationship going on with the man, how fucked up is that? The woman's, they're not even divorced yet. And this guy is talking about a play date with another woman. While he goes on to talk about how nobody loves, uh, how, how the kids don't love his wife. Oh no, how the kids, how, how the kids' mothers don't love them. <laughs> so here we go so check this out this is isaac actually sharing 
Now, screenshot. <clears throat> supposedly, this is screenshots between Isaac or uh, messages between Nikki and the other girl. That I guess apparently Isaac has now got involved with. If, if she got, if this indeed is a real person, Isaac has her mad. Nikki mad with this person. Nikki's talking shit. And now they're going to fight. The girl says, fuck you talking to, like, fuck you talking like that to, girl. You don't know about me, honey. <laughs> dude, can you believe this shit, dude? How fucking low. And Isaac is just sitting back over there just like. <laughs> he is sitting there getting his wife round up right now. She's trying to move on with her life, trying to get her shit together. She's made it clear that she doesn't want to be with this fuck. And he's over here, bing, 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 picking and poking, doxing her. Trying to intentionally make her fucking jealous. And look, claims he has sole custody, yet if you look right here, Number three, have a look. Where's it at? Plaintiff seeks sole custody. Plaintiff seeks sole custody. Meaning he doesn't have sole custody. Come on, come back in. Which I don't believe he does anyway, because... The police had done took had done uh took custody from him and Nikki um more than a year ago. So and then what is it? Let me show y'all here. He would go on to share. Check this out. <laughs> Last night, he deleted a lot of stuff. He deleted this one right here. It says, you want to hear something about May 2018. He hasn't, he hasn't come out with what he 2018, but he claims that pedophilia is and Fucking eyes that goes to the pedophilia and says, I'm coming for you hard, Big Mac. Bro, it seems everybody is going balls deep on big mac right now holy shit and he cannot contain himself here he is throwing the pedophile the chomo uh card at his own wife we've seen him throw he's like gambit choo, 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 choo. with every goddamn body you've seen he's done throwing it at all of us now he's throwing it at his own wife listen to this he says you want to hint about may 2018 he says here you go People can accuse me of talking to whoever the fuck they want. At the end of the day, I was never accused of talking to a teenager. Boom. Have a look. This is what he said about her last night. <laughs> Which he would then go on to delete. He would claim that she, you know how he does, he would claim that she admitted it with this right here. She says, from the beginning, I've been trying to do this peacefully, civil and cordial, but he doesn't want, want to, and I cannot work this out with him anymore after he lied and tried once again to get me arrested. I'm done living that way. You do know May 2018th is about me, right? Shake my head. So she admits that 28, you know, when he keeps talking about May 2018, he keeps talking about that's her. Or he keeps talking about May 2018, and she admits that it's about her. But in no way whatsoever does she admit that she slept or she was talking to an underage character. Now, he claims that he has video. He has screenshots. You know what I mean? Just like he's done to me. Hell, who remembers? Press one if you remember whenever he had a certain character by the name of Joey Barnes. Damn, act like my boyfriend. Act like he was on, act like my underage boyfriend on live stream with Isaac. Who remembers that shit? Isaac's like, Charlie's gay. Actually did a video talking about I was gay. 
and said that I was damn, uh, I was hooked up with an underage boy from uh, from the PlayStation Network. Turned out to be some guy named Joey Barnes that was a flip flopper. Talked about all different kinds of screenshots and, and uh, uh, you know, me messing around with underage girls and shit. Nothing ever fucking happened. There was, there was, you know, and I, I, I told him constantly. So I said, bring out the proof. You know, but this is back at a time where nobody wanted to fucking believe me. Albert Taylor says, Charlie, why don't you just stop having trouble with people because it gets you nowhere in life? Hey, you know, like, like I say, I'm not the one that accused me of sexual assault. Okay, I'm not the one that accused me of beating my old man. I'm not the one, <laughs> you know, that started all this shit, that pulled out all these fucking lies. I'm not the one <clears throat> that still has a problem with somebody over bullshit. You know? I'm not, I'm not going to stop having a problem once it's done been brought to my fucking doorstep, neither. Excuse my language. You brought it to my doorstep. Y'all brought the war to me. And now I'm, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just draw, let it go now that you guys are wounded? I haven't seen a damn, I haven't seen a white flag come up yet. I haven't got my apology. I haven't gotten a, you were right, Charlie. I was wrong. So... I mean, if I got to shoot a dead corpse, blam, 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 blam. I'm going to shoot a dead horse. <laughs> you know? Like I say, yeah. Anger doesn't look good on anybody. And I'm sure that I'm. it doesn't look good on me neither. I might be a handsome SOB. But anger looks good, look, looks bad on everybody, you know? And I'm willing to accept that bad look. And if you don't like it, like my dad said, you don't like it, there's a goddamn door. Don't let it hit your ass on the way out. I mean, you've, I've been waging this war for how long now? <laughs> you know, really? Yeah, I'm not, you, you think I'm giving it up? No, hell no. Joey C, have a great night. Much love to you. Thank you for joining. Uh, uh, Rebecca Feltner says, if JP is in here, then I'm out. <laughs> no love to JP. Don't worry. I don't have, I don't, I don't offer any, any ward to, to that psycho. I have gotten uh, I haven't gotten an apology from JP neither. He run his fucking mouth about me, talking shit about me, and then also calls talk shit about Erica. You know, uh, uh, I ain't got an apology from him neither. Zigzag says JP's a clout chaser. That's all he is. He talks shit about the whole fucking family. In, in a you know cartoon fashion using my my father and then he goes around bumming for fucking money hit my paypal please sable reefer 66 says nobody is fake as mike bud yeah you you preaching to the choir here you preaching to the reverend here shit I'll tell you, I'll tell you every fake video Michael ever made. You ask me, and I'll give you details. Shit. I've never hidden the fact that Michael's Michael's uh 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 videos were staged. That I that I I never hidden the fact I was a producer on the Angry Grandpa show. I was a producer on Kid Behind a Camera. I sat there and gave and gave fucking ideas and thoughts and lines. And went out and bought shit. That's what a producer does, right? Writer, producer. It was all set up and planned and staged. 
Aiden Kolansky says, uh, how many fake videos has Michael made about you? I don't know. How many videos does Michael have about uh, about me? I haven't counted, but if I counted, I'd, I'd have a number for you. <laughs> Every video. Slow jonesing. Ha <laughs> ha. Says everybody's scared on YouTube now because Charlie's got war paint on and he's going for the kill. They made this man never in his life has he ever going to say goodbye to his dad because of them. I I assume that someday, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be any time in the near future. But I think that someday I'll make a peaceful accord with my father. I'll find a way as a, you know, in my grown man's mind and heart. I think it's going to take a lot more maturing, age and maturity, you know what I mean, for me to, one, find that peace with my father that I was denied of, you know, in his final days. And then, two, to finally actually get over the hurt and deceit and betrayal brought on by my brothers and sisters. Brother and sisters. It's going to take, it's going to take. More wisdom and love and kindness and 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 understanding than this 38-year-old, soon to be 39. I turn 39 years old tomorrow, guys. My birthday is tomorrow. Last year in my 30s, guys. And it's like I say, man, I've still got a lot of I still got a, a lot of fire, a lot of young man, a lot of fire and fight in 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 this heart, you know. And it's gonna take a whole lot more than damn. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more this you know than what I have in me right now, you know, to forgive, to fully forgive, you know, my brother and my sisters, you know, without, you know, an apology from them, without without an accord, you know, with them. You know, like no other says Sagittarius game, damn right, brother. With fire signs, right? Motherfucker. How do you do it? But I want to I want to get me a bow and arrow, guys. I'm not allowed to have a gun. Convict. Sorry. I fucked up early in my life. 20 years ago today, guys. <laughs> 20 years ago today, I turned 19 in prison. 20 years ago tomorrow, I turned fucking 19 in prison. It was hard. It sucked so bad. Everybody knew. Everybody found out, bro. And I got beat. As long as as long as I let them get their hits, man, I I wasn't fucking held down and you know beat up <laughs> or hit too hard. But <clears throat> yeah, man, it was it took it took twenty years to finally move past all those mistakes, man. I, mean, I still can't have a gun, so. I'd like to have I'd, I'd like to have me a crossbow and not just necessarily or not a crossbow. I don't even want a crossbow. I want a regular bow and arrow, you know, the whole I can't even I don't even know how the fuck they do it. Like, how do I hold that motherfucker? You got the bow right here and you pull back on that. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so but yeah, you know, so damn, I think that it'd be a lot of fun. I think that, you know, it'd be a lot of, you know, a, a nice maturing thing for me i think that it would be a, a um therapeutic you know i can go out there and i'd be like a medicinal almost like meditation for me lewis griffin says actually i thought if you was convict of convicted of fellow you, you can pass a, you can possess a gun and even after that once released clean for seven years i don't think so i think that it's ever you know, I don't think you could ever have one. And I don't, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to take that chance myself, you know? So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't, it's not, it's not a very, uh, it's not a very, uh, flattering story or, you know, passing like, a, you know, that, you know, but I'll share it with people, you know, I'm not, you know, not that I'm not ashamed of it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not scared to tell the truth about, you know, mistakes that I've made in my past, because without being without admitting to your mistakes and being able to face them, you know, you cannot fully move forward. You know. Nicole April says after seven years. Well, let me have a look at that here. Let's have a look. OK. 
can I own a gun if I'm a felon? The Felony Firearms Act in North Carolina makes it illegal for anyone who has ever been convicted of a felon, a felony to possess a gun or any weapon of meth, of mass death and destruction. A felony is a, any crime that is potentially punishable by more than a year's incarceration, regardless of what sentence the per person actually was uh, uh, convicted of. So. Yeah. So, I uh, guess I cannot own a firearm. Yeah, like I said, I didn't think I could. I wasn't going to try and uh, uh, test that out, you know. And not only that, but Erica is not uh, uh, allowed to own a firearm. Let's see. Jasmine Berry, thank you so much. It says, uh, been a minute for me in here. Happy early birthday. Shake that moneymaker. Woo! Actually, here's my moneymakers. Yeah! My arms and my, and my brain. My muscles in my brain. So I'll shake it like a monkey. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate that. And it will not be spent on any drugs or booze. How about that, huh? How long has it been for you since you've been uh, since you've been around? It says in 2004, the NC legislature banned all gun ownership by convicted felons. North Carolina Fel Felony Firearms Act makes it illegal for a convicted felon to purchase own. Uh, let's see. Uh, They say it's they say it's uh it's 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 uh it's complex. So I, I think apparently if you have it locked up you can uh you can own a pistol. So like if Erica were to have a a, a firearm, you know, as long as she had it, you know, in a, a, a lock box, you know what I mean, properly contained and uh uh concealed that it, excuse me, it would not be an issue. So that's not so bad. If if the if uh if uh we were all gonna go to war tomorrow or something like the world was gonna end, you know, we can run off into the woods and then shoot squirrels. All right. <laughs> London boy, thank you so much. Says, what did your sisters do to you? I thought you only had a problem with Michael. Damn, Bo, how long have you how long have you been away, London boy? What you mean? What what have my sisters done to me? Holy crap, man. I'm gonna damn shit my pants in anger right now. <laughs> there it goes. Fuck, I'll be right now. I'm kidding. <clears throat> yeah, man. They, they accused me of uh, sexually assaulting them. <laughs> Michael did it on the, you know, it started out on the phone. You remember that? On the phone. Michael had Kimberly on the phone. Oh, Charlie raped you? He did. Yeah, he did. And then Jennifer starts crying. Me too. Like Jennifer literally me tooed me. Literally on camera said me too. How nerfed up is that, man? Nicole April says she never believed it. Just Spacey Stacy says, speaking of your sisters, Jen is still missing. I heard that she was on a video not long ago, actually. Not so sure about that. Cassie Nick says, happy birthday for tomorrow, Charlie. Thank you. I hope you have a really nice day. How are you doing today? Hope you're okay. I'm great. You know, I... I, I I legitimately started my new position this week. Like last week I, I started it and then they pulled me off and I had to, I had to finish the last, last week uh, out my old position this week, man, every single day I've been in my new spot. 
Uh, it's relaxed. It's laid back. I love the people that I'm working with. Um, I got me a nice, I got me a really nice table right next to the window, you know? Um, uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's, I'm really enjoying it, man. I got my, got my headphones in. I'm listening to them. Uh, uh, my Howard Stern, you know, and, uh, doing well, man. I don't have anybody messing with me, dude. Like my last position, like I was, I was in charge at my last position. I was the head of my little area that I was in. So every time there was a problem or any time that somebody needed some, something, they came straight to me. And I swear I couldn't go two minutes without somebody coming up to me. I'm, you know, I'm working I, I'm, and I do. And plus I was training people for like two months straight. And I don't know if you know much about training somebody or whatever, but it can be, it can be difficult. It can be boring. You know, and it was very much boring for me. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, I just like, I don't know. It wasn't so much boring at first because it was only me and one other person. And then, it, you know, it, oh, God. And it was a lot of work, but then it kind of moved up to five of us, you know, and I was able to delegate, kind of have some help, you know. But still, man. It's, like when you constantly having to put out fires, I don't see how Erica does it. That's all she does all day, you know, is damn, you know, fix mistakes and, and, and uh, confusions, you know, be, being a damn line leader and a, a supervisor, you know, t it takes a lot of responsibility and shit. And I was just like, I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I did. I, I, I held it down for a while, but once I had the opportunity to move to a higher position, I jumped for it, you know. I, I I jumped I jumped every time. This wasn't my first, you know, shot, you know, uh, uh, at uh, you know, a higher position. I had I had put in a couple of previous times, and I didn't get it, you know, and it hurt my pride. I was on here live with y'all, y'all remember, and I was I was I was angry, you know, and I was I was processing it. I was in the middle of processing it. I perhaps didn't have. I probably shouldn't have been live that night. I told y'all I was gonna. I was gonna have a meltdown live though, and I did have a struggle, uh, an inner emotional struggle with myself. You know, uh, 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 an existential crisis almost, as it were, on live stream with you all, and I shouldn't have done that. You know, and I apologize to you all for that. You know, that was the night that that uh, you know I pretty much disrespected you all. You know, calling you idiots and jerks, and you know, just I was angry and I was lashing out at my people that I, at, at, that I loved, and that sucked so much, you know. You know, because you know, you know, it's shouldn't be like that. That's the type of shit that you do when you're fucking drunk, or that's what assholes do, you know. And 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 I succumbed to a, a large amount of uh of pressure, you know. And I, you know, I apologize once again to you all for that, you know, because like, yeah, you didn't deserve the disrespect, you know. You know, and despite, you know, politics and religion and and, and, and diseases and opinions and beliefs, you know what I mean? I guess it's my opinion and belief that we all got to live together and that it's best to just look at, you know, the positives in life, you know, and, and, and me myself, you know, like I ignore, I'll ignore all that shit, you know, like ignore it, try to, you know, try to, you know, think about video games or <laughs> play video games or watch movies rather than the news and all that shit, you know, Dougie in the house here. Somebody says it's like Doug's an automatic robot. What's Dougie saying? Where's Dougie at? I don't see him. Mm hmm. Nunya says, How is that gingerbread? It's all right. It's damn. I like it. It kind of reminds it tastes like Pepsi to me. I want I wanted to get myself blindfolded. I'm not because I'm not sure if this is like a a freaking just a mental thing for me or not. Check out my glasses. Yo. <laughs> I'm not so sure if it's a mental thing or not. But uh 
Like it tastes like uh, uh, Pepsi to me, dude. You know, and I would like to like close my eyes. Oh, you can't see right now. I would like to actually close my eyes, you know, and then get like Pepsi and then the Mountain Dew and then try it. And because maybe the Pepsi tastes way different, but for some reason it tastes like Pepsi to me. Backbone Five says, "Uh, it tastes like Xmas. I love it. It does taste like Xmas, kind of, doesn't it? I love it too. I gained." couple of pounds drinking all this sweet sodas and shit dougie's in the house much love dougie we love you everyone show dougie some love he went through a lot and i was thinking i was like man what to get dougie for christmas man like what in the fuck like and now it's almost a little too late like if i you know like i don't know i was thinking about just sending you some straight up cash we owe you we owe you some money doug you know, we went live, you know, while you were in the hospital, while you were bad off, man. We went live and I said something about, you know, people donating so that we can, you know, buy you a, a good steak dinner or something that you would like for your Christmas or something. And a couple hundred bucks, man. <laughs> like 200 $250. You know what I mean? That got uh, 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 donated for you. You know, that I think I'm just going to chop off for you, man. Tax free. I probably whatever. I'll take care of the taxes or whatever, I think. But, yeah, you got like a two hundred and fifty dollar bill coming your way whenever Google gets paid again on the 21st. And that is uh, a gift from Wolfpack and Grandpa's Army, you know, to you. I wish we could have uh, wish we could have had more, wish we could have, you know, more to give you. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, anytime you need anything, brother, you know what I mean? You just let me and Erica know. Erica said, you know, that maybe perhaps you should start like a, uh, an Amazon wish list or something. I know that people, I know that people, your pride, you don't want to ask for shit. You know what I mean? You know, but it's not really about that, you know, especially right now during the, for one, you know, you're Dougie. We love you. You know what I mean? You've, you know, you've got a following of people that, you know, care and appreciate, you know, you and, you know, what you've done for them and what you were, what you've done for grandpa, you know, and, uh, and also it's Christmas, you know what I mean? Fucking Christmas, you know, Nicole April says that is a good idea. Yes. I mean, yeah, man, you know, go, I would, I would say go through and check a couple of things or whatever, and then, you know, give it to us or whatever, and then, or we'll share it, you know, we'll share it out. And, um, help you out with some things that you need, you know what I mean? Because I know that damn, you know, social security or whatever you're living on can't be much. I'm not trying to insult you or anything like that, you know, just know that, you know, that we care, that we love you, you know what I mean? That we want to help, you know what I mean? And uh, uh, yeah, that's it, honestly, you know, so $250 coming your way the 21st of this month i can't i can't afford to break off that kind of bread that that kind of gingerbread before you know before google adsense but um but yeah man you know yeah that was good that was donated and given you know for you and you deserve it so he says thanks guys everybody up yep right there thank you all for you know, making that happen for Dougie, you know what I mean, man, and, uh, and, uh, you know, thank you for following us and loving us and believing us, you know what I mean, like, this has not been an easy fight, this has been a long, hard road, you know, people, people like to, like to say that I'm a clout chaser, that I do all this shit for attention, you know what I mean, but, uh, you know, I could be getting way more attention by, by playing ball, you know, by just going with Michael's bullshit, I'd have been, I'd have still been in, involved with the videos and shit back in 2018, whenever we patched up everything after Dad died. London boy, thank you so much. Says, do you ever spend time watching old angry grandpa videos? Yeah, I don't. Not really, man. Every now and again, I'll pop on one or something like that. But you know what? Maybe I should. You know, I don't know how I feel about seeing Michael and shit, though, man. You know, kind of. It's very, you know, it's, it's perplexing, like I say, you know, 
But I would like to see some grand, maybe see some grandpa videos and shit, you know. To me, it's like home videos. They're not YouTube videos to me. They're like home videos, you know. And, uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. And it's just, sometimes it's hard to watch them, though, whenever you see these people in these videos, you know, that, that mean a lot to you. But that people that, you know, that, like I said, betrayed you. You know, in the in the worst ways, you know. And I don't know how many times I reached out and still tried to damn patch things up with them only for them to shit on me. You know, who remembers whenever damn I sent Michael a wavy hand like a year ago. That's it. A wavy hand. I'd been sober a couple of months, I think. And I just wanted to, you know, I was like, fuck it. Let's see what happens. So I sent a little wavy hand and Michael took that shit and made a fucking video out of it. This poor, this pathetic drug excuse of a goddamn drunk reaching out to me. How about you apologize for all the, for all the horrible shit you did to the family? Oh, hold on. No, Michael don't talk like dad. He talks like Cartman. Why don't you apologize for all the horrible shit you did to the family? You goddamn drunk. <laughs> you know, that was Michael. After I had been sober for months, trying to do the right thing. And that wasn't the first time that he would use that shit against me. <laughs> Why don't you admit to all that bullshit? Why don't you admit to raping your sister, you goddamn nut? No pizza pie for you. Respect my authority. That's it. Michael's just mad because I wouldn't respect my authority. What up, Miss Cotty Wobble? Off work. Damn, it's late. Brady says, do a Bridget impression. Uh, Michael, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's funny. I smell something stinky. Or I just look like it. <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> Michael. Ew, you farted. <laughs> Nasty, Michael. I damn Bridget. I just farted. Yeah. Oh, nasty. Ew. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, thank God I did that. Okay. Thomas D. 120 says, says uh, do, a, do a Tina D. impression. Oh, no. Bo. Uh, hey, Mo. What the hell, Mo? Dude, what the fuck happened with Tuna the other night? Like, she literally fucking aired out a drug deal. Did y'all hear that? Hey, Mo. Uh, Mo, let me get some of that OJ air, Mo. Try to see what didn't sleep in the woods, Mo. She reminds me of like a fucking, like a, uh, <laughs> she reminds me of like an old, like an old female baseball coach or something. Ah, oh, damn, Bo! Scratching her balls. Stacy Stacy said, I heard it. Who heard that shit? Like, she literally got caught. She was like, Hey, Bo, you want to see that juice kitchen? Well, hook me up with the, the 220. I got to come back. Hey, that chick chat can't hear me talking right now. I'm going to play on the 1020 of it. And I'm going to OJ. Ooh, Bo, Bo, Bo. I'm going to take a Bo, Bo, Bo. I'm going to 20, Bo, Bo. All right, anyways, guys, what'd you say? He's picking on my son, Albert. <laughs> He's picking on my son, Albert, Bo. And when she's always dressed like Michael Moore, she's got that hat, you know, the hat kind of flapped down and she's got the glasses. I can't do it, but she's, she, she reminds me of Michael Moore. If that makes any sense. <laughs> now, tell me, Bo. Now, why did you talk like that about my dad while he was on a deathbed? Which, I mean, I don't, I don't agree with. 
you know, but the way Tina loses her fucking mind over everything, dude, it's just kind of funny, dude. I mean, like, <laughs> she loses her mind over everything. All right, you know, like, oh, my God, a roach crawls across her pillow. Bow, we got to go live. We got a roach on my pillow. <laughs> Hit me up on my PayPal, Bo. Mm. Let me fix my hat. Oh, oh my ass. <laughs> Oh, man. Hispanic causing panic says, no lie. I've noticed Michael and you act very similar. You are brothers, but I notice you two are uh, really similar in personality. Well, I mean, we're we are greens. You know, we, we both grew up from the gutter straight out of the green garbage in the gutter. <laughs> straight off the algae plate. <clears throat> Uh, Stacy C says, do an Isaac impression. Huh. Wipe my ass, Nikki. Oh, but hold on a second. I gotta get a blue. I gotta get a blue mark. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if I got a blue marker here. Oh, I don't have any. Ah. Damn it. He's def he's definitely got a blue mark on his on his hit on his heel. Kind of like how Andy kind of like how, how Woody has Andy on the bottom of his foot. Isaac has the permanent blue heel. You ever heard of the tar heels? Isaac's the blue heel. Oh my god. Uh technically I am winning because I'm squatting in this guy's house and I'm not paying for anything, and I just got a knock on the door, and it's DoorDash, and there's four large cheese pizzas with everything on them just for me. Winning! Hold on. Hold on. Where is it at? Hold on. Hold on, here we go. Ha! <laughs> You can't fuck with the boss, bitch. Bitch. Careful, mom. You'll be my life. Oh, God. That kind of hurt my, my neck right there a little bit. But he loves to wear it. And I, and I hate to say this because Dad liked these hats. But he likes to wear them fucking little tap dancing. Shuck and job hats. You know? Hold on. Ah, oh, damn. I don't have any ridiculous glasses. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Going to the beach. Get my... I just lost my wife. I'm going to talk shit about her on Twitter. Ow, that shit kind of hurts, yo. How was that? Was that about right? <laughs> That's Isaac. He literally really does. I mean, I, I know it's I know it's a cliche, you know, but he really does look like Job of the Hut, dude. I mean, warts and all. Holy dog shit. Mm. <laughs> Charlie, can you say my? <laughs> yeah, you know Bridget messing around with Wubby. <laughs> Bridget's down there like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, you know what I can get for you, girl. I don't know. Michael, do you like this? The kid behind the camera like beating up while I'm <laughs> okay. My turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. My turn. Woo, thank God the camera only cuts up to about right there. Woo. And you know it smells like pork chops and apple sauce. Oh my god! 
sweaty hams. You ever smelled ham sweat? <laughs> like, have you ever boiled an entire pack of lunch meat? I haven't, but I imagine what that smells like. The, you know, the hot dogs, you know, you boiled hot dogs and it's got like that weird kind of brownish, grayish foam on top of the, of the boiling water, you know, and you scoop that up and you, you ever done that? Just kind of rub it underneath your nose right here. That's what Wubby walks around doing. Bridget, um, Bridget, she even looks like a Bridget, smells like hot dog flavored water. I imagine. <laughs> what do you think? Kelly Sikorsky says, You gotta do Tina again, but you gotta lick your lips a lot. Oh man, what am I? What am I? Y'all's monkey here? Am I just supposed to tap dance and jive for y'all? I do enjoy, I do enjoy entertaining y'all though. I'm gonna have to try it out again later. Oh, piglet's in the house. Uh, that's not the real piglet, okay? I'm the real piglet, okay? I gotta try to figure out. I, I'm, I'm gonna work on these guys. We're gonna get us some good impressions going. How do y'all think? Hopefully y'all enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> An hour and a half. Almost six o'clock. I'm about to go ahead and get off of here, guys. I uh, got to go ahead and cook dinner for me and the old lady. I love her so much. Take a look. You see grandpa's urn is gone, huh? The hell did Erica do with grandpa's urn? My urn is gone. Okay. Make sure... I'll keep this nice and tight to me because it looks like it's kind of like, who wants to see our Christmas tree? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You live in infamy. Christmas tree. Our candy. Shout out to my dude. Um, oh, man, my dude. I forget your name. But you're my dude. You sent me those. And take a look. Aww. How about that? Erica's got a nice little motif going for both the fathers. Yeah. Ow. Hold on. Oh, it hurts my hand. It hurts my hand. Okay, hold on a second. This laptop's came a little bit heavy. Whew. Sorry about that paint job, too, by the way. I got to take care of that. Kitty scratching at the damn door. Oh, which, by the way, man, who who uh, who heard the live stream last night where Isaac beat his dog? Was it last night? They said Isaac actually went live and beat his fucking dog, dude. They said that like Isaac, how many times has Isaac claimed that he's not had any animals whatsoever? Then we saw a cat. Well, last night apparently they were they were live and Isaac's dog wouldn't stop barking. Isaac's dog wouldn't stop barking, and so Isaac went and punched the dog. Came back and laughed about it and said, Yeah, that was a good punching. Like, what in the fuck? You can go listen to it. Eddie Cagle. Says, no way. Yes way. Go listen to it. Let's see if the video is still up. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. Let's see if he's... Uh, Isaac's, Isaac's been making nothing but mistakes here lately. I can't uh, assume that, uh, that he's stopped making any here lately. Here it is. Oh, look. Ha <laughs> ha! He's so mad about Nikki. She posted on some on some guy's Twitter or whatever. I like your cut, G. And look. He went live saying with video. I like your cut, G. Oh my God. How horrible. So anyway, in this one, bombs away. Hey, can anybody send us the timestamp? Somebody has the timestamp. Where's let me go to my Twitter? I haven't checked my Twitter all night. I asked for uh Pictures and stuff. What do we have here? Here's Nikki getting all over his ass. Oh, 
Check it out. Nikki says, for your information, I am changing everything to keep him off, not the kids. Isaac got all crappy about Nikki uh, locking him out of the PlayStation account. He was mooching off of her PlayStation account. She locked the PlayStation account. Then he accused her of taking it from the kids. He's been doing so much fucking petty. He's been petty shit on her. Telling the kids, your mom took it from you. No, your mom took it from you, you fat fucking wad. If you can take care of your kids, why can't you get a PlayStation account and go and farm? Says uh, they have his account and their own account to play the games on the console. Look at that. They've got their dad's account and they've got their own personal accounts. But Isaac wants to use hers. Why? Just to get under her skin. To just to feel like he's got some kind of sort of control over her. Then whenever he takes her, whenever she takes that away from him, he accuses her of not loving the kids. And she did it because of the kids, not because of him, not because she hates him. But here's what she says, doing her own words. Of course, he would say that shit and continue to be mad and lie because I won't take him back. Boom. And it's true. It's absolutely true. I wonder how brown sugar feels. She probably don't care. Now, you want to talk about clout chasing? This brown sugar going to hook up with the likes of Isaac? Just for a little bit of exposure? Not even much. Like, Isaac doesn't have shit anymore. Nobody fucking likes him. Nobody believes his ass. He never goes live. When he does, he's got, what, 2,000 views? Come on, dude. I fucking, I torch those numbers. I go live and get 20,000. Stop it. Says, uh, says uh, you lie and talk about how rich you are. A few games won't be hard to replace, but I'm not letting him on my account. Ha <laughs> ha, lo siento, motherfucker. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why she's got her fucking account on private. Probably watching right now. I'm sure. While well, fucking Isaac's ex is clowning his ass. And he's fucking using you to try and make her jealous. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. And here's where she said, hey, I got a job. Look, she's excited. Got her a fucking job. Ready to get her life back together. And Isaac's like, oh, yeah. I know where you live now. Fucking doxter. Because she's got a job. Ha <laughs> ha, he listened to it. She's like, so many fucking lies. I will not be a sheep. He's mad and hot because I won't take his fat, and that fat ugly ass back. <laughs> Says, move on already, child. You're full of emotions and all over the damn place. Damn. <laughs> Dude, is she torched? Dude, that is a fucking torch and a half right there because it is so true. I man, fucking Isaac is just an emotional wreck over there, acting like a fucking child, crying like a bitch, making all kinds of bullshit up, trying to make her fucking jealous. Trying to turn the internet against her, but guess what? It ain't gonna work no more. I bet that really empowers her now, dude. There was a time where every fucking body believed Isaac. And everybody believed Michael. Who remembers whenever my, uh, uh, Mike, Isaac claims that Michael was uh, 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 was like, yeah, I'd hit her too. So many, there were so many people that believed their shit for so long. You know, Nikki had no prayer. How many times did Isaac expose her? Isaac claims that she uh that she would that she got caught messing around with an underage kid and went to jail for it, but he covered that shit up for how long? Until he can use it for his own advantage? Is that what he's doing with Michael? He knows Michael got with Bridget when she was 14. Michael was 22. He knows all about it. But guess what? He ain't saying nothing about it. He's going to defend it until, guess what? It doesn't uh, benefit him any longer. Jonathan and Lori Mayberry says, bro, that mask freaks the hell out of me. That's Sting up there in the rafters. 
Ms. Cotty Wample says nobody is scared of them. They have learned. More and more people, like I say, more and more people have tested the waters and then finally said, fuck it. I'm bouncing. Fuck you, Isaac. And how many times did I how many times do I gotta show people that Isaac ain't shit? Before they before they follow suit, like, hey, yeah. Isaac was actually paid to fucking take me out. It was his job to take me out. And here I am today, laughing in his fucking face. Like the snake against the mongoose. That fucking snake tried, but guess what? The mongoose a little fucking faster. Now I'm sitting there chewing on that cobra's head. I'm like Bridget on a lubby. I'm all right. <laughs> hey, Sue Salomeli Vlogs, you are right, sir. Says, didn't Isaac want Nikki to pay child support now that she works? Check this out. Isaac, who, mind you, ain't got a fucking job in the world, ain't had one since his mama had him. And let me show you. We're going to share some more uh, pictures and stuff. But look. Where is it at? I think he might have fucking deleted it. And look at this. Don't nobody likes Isaac shit. Oh my God. Look. He got 10 likes on this shit from a fucking hour ago. 10 likes. Uh, fucking 13 likes. Dude, nobody cares about your war against your wife. Uh, except for, you know, to see you get fucking taken down. Only interested in the downfall here. Nobody fucking gives a shit. I'm, you know, I'm sitting there hoping that fucking, that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping. I'm liking what I'm seeing, though. Oh, where's it at? He did delete it, I think. <laughs> he did delete it. But he said that whenever, now that Nikki's got a fucking job. He's going to get her for child support. This motherfucker with no job himself. Oh, my God. Nate says, I was watching Isaac's live stream last night, and someone became a member, and he said that they weren't an official guest mob member unless they donated five more dollars. <laughs> ah, dude. Woo. Anything for a fiver, huh? Yeah, he literally sold his dignity away right there for a fiver. Oh, man, that's wild, huh? Oh, shit. Anyways, man, like, uh, I'm, I've been on, on here about 10 minutes, a little too long. Um, The hits aren't going to stop coming. I don't know if we're going to, I don't think I'm going to go live tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday, but I'm going to get back to all of you. I've got a video, guys. It's about 35 minutes long. I've already got it composed. I had it uploaded. I was going to uh, make it public today. Uh, but I felt like I had to go live with all this shit going on, man. I really needed to share, you know, and uh, and also just celebrate my sobriety, you know, so happy and thankful, you know what I mean, to be in this position, you know, in my life, you know, at a time when uh, um, I feel like it's right, you know, I don't know. And, uh, and just happy that, you know, like, I don't know, I am happy that my hate, that, that the haters and those that tried their, tried their hardest to take me down are themselves sinking. You know what I mean? I can't help, but, you know, gloat in that a little bit. Like I say, it makes me look bad, but you know, whatever. We're, we're, we all have a little bad in us. We're, we're all a yin yang, aren't we? Are we not light, light and dark? So. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, you know, Eddie Cagle, much love to you. I love subs. Thank you for watching. The Crooked Smile of Strangler Steve. <laughs> uh, Brandy Renee, much love to you. BR Breast Archives. Jonathan Aylman, Team PVP Son. Uh, the Crooked Smile Strangler. Yeah, hey, did you see me on TMZ? Yeah, apparently I see Isaac and uh, 
and uh, Strangler Steve are sharing like fucking clips of them talking on P TMZ. I honestly think that it's like a faked, uh, some fake bullshit of theirs, you know. And I don't, and it hasn't gone anywhere, you know. I don't see where they shared any links to like the actual show. It might be like some like deleted clips, some 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 on, some deep online shit. You know, but honestly, if I were you, once we do find out where, you know, these links are, if they do have the videos up on TMZ, you know, I would advise you all to kind of send them a message about, you know, the people, you know, that they're interviewing, you know, your, uh, uh, you know, your, your credibility is only as uh, uh, strong as, you know, the person telling the story, you know, so, uh, yeah, hit them up with that shit. Yeah, Anthony Mor Morino Sorto, have a great night. Nini, much love to you. Happy, thank you for the happy early birthday. I'll be I'll be working tomorrow on my birthday. But like I say, uh, I'm a, I'm in a good position, really liking it a lot, and um, and I think yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a wonderful day. So Nicole April, much love to you. Thank you so much, Jamar Glover, gamer girl, much love to you. Have a great night, uh, Robert. Uh, Robert. Robert, have a great night. Domino's, mm, I want some pizza, man. That sounds great, man. Scott Johnson, much love to you. Gina Satilli, thank you for moderating tonight. And you too, Corey Phillips, much love to you, brother, as always. Jesus Lomeli Vlogs, have a great night. Um, Matt, uh, Max Kibo, Matthew Mullins, Keller Sikorsky, <laughs> you are welcome for the, the laugh. Hopefully you all enjoyed uh uh, those impressions, maybe I'll work on those, refine them a little bit and uh, uh, unleash them at a later time, you know, uh, uh, for you all to enjoy. Pumpkin Patch, thank you for that $5. Uh, it will be spent wisely. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you all so very much. Much love to you, Miss Cotty Womble. Mwah! Have a great night and uh, we'll catch y'all all next time, man. Peace out. Danglo pitcher. Thank D'Angelo pitcher. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Love you guys.